One of the most exciting areas to follow in acute myeloid leukemia is that of minimal residual disease. We know we can get patients into remission. The problem is we can't keep them there. And the clear explanation for this is the leftovers. What is left over after therapy, either with high intensity or with low intensity treatment? And the biology of the leukemia cells that are left over is extremely interesting because it may not be similar to what the bulk disease was that was eliminated with initial therapy. Right now, there are tremendous efforts to characterize for patients what are the cells that are left over and also how to measure them and quantify them so that we can see if either existing or novel therapies can reduce the cells that are left over to below threshold levels that are required for stem cell transplant, for example, to be maximally effective. We know that even cure, uh, even stem cell transplant, which is currently the only way to cure the disease for most patients, is dramatically less effective if there is minimal residual disease detectable, for example, by flow cytometry prior to transplant. So any therapy that can meaningfully reduce the leftovers or the minimal residual disease might be an advantage. And right now we're trying very hard to standardize quantification by flow cytometry so that the effect of novel therapies on reducing the burden of minimal residual disease can be better assessed.